Hey, I uh, hope you're having a great week. It's almost the weekend. It's almost Friday. I was about to walk out the door and then I saw this message from Abriana. So thank you, Abriana. Kind of confused on what numbers to insert for the report calculator. Could I get a little help? So I figured before I run out the door and get on my motorcycle, actually I rode my car today because it was raining. Uh, I thought I'd just jump in here and do a little playing around with our calculator. So obviously you know your age, so you put your age in. Um, retirement plan inputs your current age. When do you want to retire? So that's a good number, 67, that's the default. Annual household income. So you probably don't have, maybe you do, <laughs> I never know. But just take a guess. Um, and what I might do if I were you is assume that you're working a job, uh, like the, your dream job. Do a little research. I know you know, probably you know, what salary you could expect if you did happen to get your dream job. So just use that salary if you'd like to create a report that's a little bit more meaningful than just making numbers up. So you could say, you're, I'm going to say, uh, I'm 58 years old and I'm going to say that I make 100 and no, I'll just say I make uh, $75,000 a year and my annual retirement savings that means how much am I saving a percentage of how much I make so let's say I'm gonna go bump that up to 15% that was what remember that's what we talked about in the baby steps and of course I'm older than you so you do this however you want um, current retirement savings I'm gonna say uh, that much that's just investments that's not my house my car let's let's just make that uh, a quarter million dollars for a 58 year old making 75 grand a year saved a quarter million dollars that shouldn't be too bad expected income increase so let's say one percent uh, income required at retirement so that's not too difficult right how much of my $75,000 am I going to need at retirement to continue living 90% is the default I'm gonna say I can do it on uh, I'm gonna say 50 no I'm gonna say think about this if I say if if I can live on half of what I'm making if I'm making 75 grand a year and I have $250,000 saved if I can live on half of that, then this report is going to tell me that I don't need to save quite as much to be able to retire with dignity. So that's not a bad, I think I think my wife and I could live on half of that, but I'm just gonna say 50,000. Oh, it's an income required, it's a percentage. So I'm gonna say, let's say 65% of that amount. That'll get me pretty close years of retirement income now that's I'm 58 if I retired at 67 that would be 102 years old that's that's 35 years so that's what they're asking and you can click on the little question total number of years you expect to use your retirement income so I'm gonna say that's that puts me at 102 so that's interesting it's not a bad number so here we go. Retirement savings runs out at age 78. Wow. What if I said I could live on 50%? Then it runs out at 82. And this is the whole point of this exercise. For you to plug in some numbers, do a little analysis, do a little thinking about what's it going to cost you to retire. So um, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm, I'm making, actually I don't make that much, well yeah, about that much this year, but fortunately I have more money saved. So let me put in the actual number that I have saved, and that says I'm going to have a balance now if I have $1.2 million, and if I'm only going to live, let's say I, I think I'm only going to need, when I retire at 67, I'm going to say 30 years. 
that means my kids are going to get 3 million. So I said 30. It was 35 before. Years of retirement income. Interesting. So why is it going, if I said 30 years of retirement income, I don't understand that. But I'm going to try not to confuse you on that one. Investment returns. Uh, let's see what else. So that's, that's a pretty good number there. Uh, so there we have it. Now if I want to view this report, this is, this is what we're looking for. Gives me some cash flows. Shows me retire with 50% of income. Let me go back up there. Can I go back and say, and uh, let's see what happens. Uh, don't want that. Let me see if, if I just hit the back button, what happens? I'm curious. Huh. Not good. Took me to the wrong place. So here we go. Back into the calculator. And it saved my stuff. So there we go. Okay. Oh, there we have it. Our four million dollar four point one. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna view the report and then print the report. And that this is where someone else had a question about uh, how to create a PDF. So here it's easy for me. I just hit. I can open it in a preview, save it as a PDF, and then I can just save that to Money Study Group Content Summer. I'm going to say MSG uh, Calculate Cost of Retirement. So I can find it later for my assignment. Hope that helps. Uh, good luck with your assignment. We'll see you soon. Let me know if you, if you have any specific questions and I'll be happy to help.